Hello and welcome back to another video. So it seems like I've had quite a few questions asking uh, what the DPS increase of four ticking is versus um, a normal rotation in terms of percentage and then just like standard damage as well. So what I thought I would do is I'm going to reset my damage here and then go and do a normal sunshine rotation on a dummy using uh, sort of my gear setup which is going to be T92's uh, staff wand and orb with a flanking switch with uh, singularity and then a T99 uh, prayers and overload salves and a dream pot. So I do realize that by showing this uh, rotation inside of a 36 second sunshine uh, it does accentuate how much extra damage is dealt um, so by doing a, com a comparison of um, not without auto attacking versus with, uh, we're just going to have a look at the damage and we'll see what we come up with. Now as you can see in the background the first rotation here I'm doing is with dual wields and uh, flanking switch that's without Fortic auto attacking uh, and you pretty much don't swap from your uh, dual wields apart from the first, very, uh, the very first staff auto as you sunshine. Um, this rotation was pretty good, uh, it's fairly consistent and con concentrated blast is definitely a really good ability for the uh, crit chance buff uh, to aspects of more magic etc. Um, it is also worth noting that this rotation isn't technical at all and is very easy to reproduce. So the second rotation you're going to see on screen now is the 4 tick auto attacking rotation. Now this rotation is the most optimal one for 4 tick auto attacking and does deal the most damage however it's not the most commonly used one. Um, just because of how some boss mechanics work and timings etc so it did take me quite a few uh, tries to even um, get this one out almost perfectly I did mess up the very last ability but I don't think that really matters um, it's quite technical as well uh, it does require switching to your, your wand and singularity after an asphyxiate uh, for the flanking impact which is kind of annoying to do and most people won't really bother to do that so then getting into the technical details um, a uh, friend of mine, Steve, or Giozo, as you can see in the top here, has made this uh, perfect spreadsheet for me uh, with all the mathematical calculations, taking out my human error and the fact that I'm shit at PVM. So having a look at this then, we can see that on the left hand side we've got the 4 tick auto attacking rotation and on the right hand side here is the normal uh, DPS rotation with dual wields. Summing up all of these uh, the calculations in this sheet then, you can see here at the top the DPS increase of using Fortic auto attacking, if you did it flawlessly, would be 7.85%. Uh, however, nobody, almost, almost nobody in game, would be able to do this, and also it does change slightly because you have to adjust to uh, rotations of the boss that you're doing. You know, you're going to have stalls, you're going to have to use defensives, uh, you know, anticipated Talos or um, you know, entangling Reavers at AOD. Uh, so therefore. Most of the time it's probably going to come out around 6% DPS increase, which in my opinion, and this is my opinion only, a 6% DPS increase for what is a lot more effort is not that much, uh, and I would really love to see this uh, for melee and range as well. I hope this video helps to dispel any rumours or terrible numbers that I've seen floating around Twitter and, and Reddit. I've seen sort of 30%, 40% DPS increase, which is absolute bollocks. Um, but anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.